with Trump. He's being prudent. Oh, there's one deer down there getting breakfast. Well, it's Friday morning, guys. We were supposed to have a little bit of snow, and it's just flurrying out there right now. We had two inches last night again. Um, they're calling for heavier amounts of precipitation for tomorrow, for tonight and tomorrow. But I can't really tell what's going on with this weather because it's so goofy. But anyway... After that, we're supposed to have rain all next week, and it's going to be in the 40s, they're saying. Which is really hard for me to believe, because it's like still, we're still in February. March is never any better, and neither is April around here, as far as the winter weather goes. So, there she's, it's a nice looking deer there. That's one of the smaller ones. some more corn up this way if she come up and see what happens came back oh. he seems a little Right now he's okay, but he seemed a little jumpy there before he was running around and stuff. I don't know why. I don't see any other deer, but that doesn't mean that they're not there. This is one of the smaller deer that were born this past uh, March. And it seems like the mom has been trying to get them to get away from her because she's pregnant again and going to have more fawn. So this, these couple of deer here that have lost their you know, fawn colors and everything, 
I think she wants them on their way to get going and make their own life. So this guy seems to be doing pretty good by himself. not even a year old yet or just yeah he'll be a year probably next month When it's windy like this, it's a little windy out there. The deer are jumpy. You can see it's 23 degrees there and we've had two inches of snow last night again and there are chickadee are out here and a red squirrel trying to get something to eat. This is really odd that there's this many deer down here. It's one o'clock one o'clock in the afternoon. Usually there's never that many deer down here in the middle of the day. One, two, three, four, five, five that I can make it. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe we are going to get a good, good snowstorm. I don't know. Six. Sally and I have to go pick up a microwave today. Our microwave died on us. We can't make the coffee hot or whatever when we're needing it. That one there walking across makes seven. Seven of them were there. Eight. Wow, there's a whole herd down there. Well, it looks like they're right on time. I'm eating supper. And they're Six. eating supper. Six. So they found that upper pile of corn there. One, two, three, four, five, six deer, I believe I see. I'm looking through the camera here.
it's starting to get a little the sun's starting to grow out, out there it's after 518 excuse me and um, you can see they there's only two there at the moment but they're enjoying that corn that's there I believe that deer tend to eat during the daylight hours like this especially coming near the house when they know the weather's going to get bad it's going to the house it's coming to the <clears throat> yeah what I remember from hunting is that uh, deer would move around the day before a rain or a st uh, not a rain but um, a snowstorm and then like hours before the storm started they would lay down and stay laying until after the storm was pretty much done now that's not to say that every single deer does the same thing but I'm just that's what they appear to be doing <clears throat> I'm just amazed that it's so light out and they were out you know before it was almost a little after lunch and and here it's about an hour before dark and they're still out and we've been outside Sally's been outside a number of times and they still are insistent on coming back for the feed <clears throat> It was funny there, there was just a deer to the left of this one that's closest to us and he walked into the woods and the other one walked out as if he was waiting mm -hmm. patiently for them to get done eating. Mm -hmm. Well they def definitely uncovered the corn. Yeah. 